I enjoyed this one quite a bit earlier on in the year. However, I didn't pick this one to be on my list because it's PA3 pluses. Again, I just had other options on there that had more protection as PA4 pluses. All these sunscreens are good and all the ones that I had on my list were good. It's just some of them were a little bit better. However, this one's still SPF 50 and I think this could work for a wide range of skin types, including dry skin because it's a little bit thicker and it has things like ceramides and other nourishing ingredients in it. And last thing, the price is a little bit high on this one. So that's, that's why I didn't make it, I think. 